watching Let's Chat. We continue on Let's Chat. It is Wednesday and time to bring back what has turned into a annual Chattanooga tradition that is ice on the landing, except it's not on the landing. Carla's here to talk all about that. And Carla, during the break, I found out that some of us around here, maybe me, had been mispronouncing your name all <laughs> these years. So Carla <laughs> Pritchard, correct? That is perfect. It's okay. totally fine, however you want to say it, of it, course. It is an English name. Yes. Anyway, we're glad it to have is. you here, that Carla. Makes it hard. I remember Thank back you. when you were Carla Watson, so we'll we'll leave that one. That um, was still really simple, that's right? A long time ago. What? <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, uh, ice <laughs> on the landing. It's. Uh, I'm glad to see it back, but when I heard ice on the landing, it's not going to be on the landing. I thought we need to find out from Carla. Yeah, actually, you know what? It is technically still on the landing. You know, we moved the. We started out with the rink in 2014 at Ross's Landing, mm -hmm. so that's the name. But then after we were there for just two years, we moved to the gardens behind the Chattanooga Choo Choo. It's right. a really beautiful setting and works wonderfully for this kind of activity. And so I considered a name change at that point, but then someone who was, uh, whose dad was in the train industry for his whole career reminded me that this, uh, where it is now at the Choo Choo is technically on train landings, and that's what they're called, train landings. So I left the name alone. So well, right. technically it's still correct. I, uh, <laughs> I know you're going to get to the nuts and bolts about when you're opening, when you're closing, pricing and all that. But I got to ask you the question that seemingly we have to do with everyone we talk to. I know you're taking the appropriate social distancing precautions, but tell me what those are. Uh, yes, we have, um, we'll, the main thing we'll be doing differently this year is limiting capacity on the rink at any one time, and that is going to be no more than 75 people on the ice, which is about 50% capacity, so it will actually be probably a more pleasant, enjoyable experience for those who are skating, and also just a precaution, um, everyone will also be required to wear a mask. And of course, we'll be sanitizing services regularly. We'll have hand sanitizing stations set around. Um, but again, the the big deal, and and some of our you know logistics will be set up a little bit differently. The way where you walk up and less time inside of a tent. Um, so just making some adjustments like that. But the big difference is the um, limitation of people on the ice at any one time. I know you have put extensive thought into this and going through your mind each and every possible scenario and I know it is going to be the most enjoyable family experience that you and your team can possibly make it. So back to the nuts and bolts. When do things open up for ice on the landing? We open on November 13th. That is next Friday. Uh, so it'll be here quickly. We are working hard on the site right now, getting all the different uh, surfaces prepared and the layers in place that enable us to have that uh, laser laser level surface and start building the ice. Right. Um, you know, the most important part is to get that good uh, foundation in place, and then that we can withstand these uh, warm temperatures that may come <laughs> our way sometime during the season, as you know. But um, so yeah, we're looking forward to opening night six o'clock on Friday the thirteenth, and, um, and we'll have a a long season this year going through January 25th. One thing that it seems like, and I know we mention this every year, I don't think we um, dwell on it enough. This is suitable for all levels of skating skill, and you even have classes for folks who have never put on a pair of skates or who are basic skaters at best, correct? Yeah, that, that's correct. Um, Saturday mornings, you can just kind of show up an hour before we officially open to the public. So if you're there by nine o'clock, you can um, take a lesson, mm -hmm. but certainly at any time, just come skate. You don't have to know what you're doing. Most people don't. <laughs> and it's just an interesting, fun thing to do in the wintertime, obviously kind of unique to this season. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. We do, of course, still have what we call ice buddies that right. you can rent for a few dollars. And they're just things you can hang on to and kind of push around almost like a walker right. on the ice. But that really gives you a kind of a nice um, peace of mind if you're uncomfortable at first. All right, um, Carla, very but, quickly, I got to cut you off yeah. here. But one thing the staff wanted me to ask is, are you going to bring back 
skillet curling like you had last year. I know you yes. did a lot with the folks from Lodge Manufacturing. Hopefully you will have some skillet curling that maybe even those of us who can't skate will be able to take fun in. Carla, thanks so yes, much as always for your time. Thank you. Find out more about Check Ice out. on the All Landing. Right. Check out the website, iceonthelanding.com.